I apologize earlier. Uh, Justice Fred Lewis could not be here. He had some surgery that he's recovering from, and he sends everyone their best. Sandy Dalbert told me he would give me a lot of money if I didn't tell you that Major Harding was home watching Netflix. Uh, <laughs> so Sandy owes me a lot of money because I'm not going to tell you that Major's home watching Netflix. Uh, some of you may remember, I know Chief Justice LaBarga does, and some other justices do. A few years ago, when Dean Cannon came to this dinner, and asked me if he could have a few minutes at the podium, and he came up here and he did the greatest kumbaya speech I've ever heard about the marriage between the legislature and the courts. And three weeks later, he had filed the proposal for a constitutional amendment that the Supreme Court be divided into 17 departments. <laughs> uh, so those days are over. Uh, nobody gets a free pass anymore up here. Um, when Justice Polston was Chief Justice, I had said to him, and I did it with a straight face, I said, we would like you to come up and deliver the State of the Judiciary address. He said, how much of a time have I got? And I said, one minute. <laughs> and he thought I was serious, so he took a minute. <laughs> the following year, he was still Chief Justice. We didn't talk, and he took another minute. So it is my privilege to introduce the Chief Justice of the Florida Supreme Court. I talked to Justice Paulson a few minutes ago. Justice Paulson said, Justice, Chief Justice LeBarg is a good guy. Give him two. Uh, I understand. I won't hold it against you. So Chief Justice LeBarg, where are you? I can't see him the light. Come join us. Uh, as it was just mentioned, the first time to succeed himself as Chief Justice, or Chief Justice succeed oneself in a long, long time. And it's a credit to your leadership. Come on, Chief Justice. Well, uh, you know, let me just mention a couple of things that Hancock has done to me throughout the years. Uh, um, you know, a couple of years, but my first year as chief, uh, as I'm taking the podium and to speak, he says, you got two minutes. And Sylvia was the uh, president at the time, and so I took two minutes and got off. And, as I'm walking off, Sylvia says, well, I was glad, you, you know, you had 10 minutes. So he lied to me. <laughs> so, and then this last year, it, the same thing by, by Ed Scales, told me I only had two minutes. So I took the two minutes again, and he lied to me. So here's what I'm doing, the way I calculated things. You guys owe me eight minutes for the first year. <laughs> You owe me eight minutes for last year, that's 16. And of course I get the 10 from now, so I got 26 minutes. So, give it a 26 minutes. Hank, here's my speech. But I was about to give this speech, but Justice Kennedy, you did not know that he was a Shakespearean. And uh, he told me, he came over a few minutes ago, and and gave me a quote, and I wrote it down to make sure I got it right. He says, brevity is the soul of, of wit. So I'm going to follow that and not give you the speech that you, Hank Cox, deserved. <laughs> but next year, I'm not going to be conned. So here's what I like to do. I, and, I mean, I'm, my mother did not raise a fool. You didn't come here to hear me. Uh, everybody's dying to hear our keynote speaker. I would like to just give you a little update about our beautiful building, which is my pride, and it's the one, the one thing I really love about our court. One of the many things, one of the main things. <laughs> it's a nice building to go to. Uh, but it, we have been renovating the building now for a number of years. We finally got money from the legislature, and, and we're almost done. Uh, but one of the few things that I want you to look at, if you happen to drive by at night, is that the dome is now lit, and, it, and it's beautiful. Uh, we, we, had the, we got a new roof, as you know. Uh, the original roof was in from 1948, and it was leaking. And there's a lot of stories about how badly it leaked. I know that when Rosemary Barquette was chief, she would go to the legislature telling them, we need a new roof. It's leaking. 
So they will come to inspect, and there'd be a lot of buckets added around the building <laughs> with water in them. Uh, so eventually we got the money. So we got a new roof, and we had the dome basically sandblasted, and it was painted. Uh, it was coated so they go last for a long, long time, and we added lights to it. We have uh, pretty much finished the inside. We're having some problems with the columns up front. For some reason, it, they don't want to take our paint. So we have scraped them down by hand. We don't want to sandblast them. Uh, and, you know, sealed them and painted them, but the paint keeps chipping off. So there's some kind of ghostly reason. So we have gone through like two contractors. Now we got a third one trying to figure that one out. Well, that's the only thing that's left in the building uh, that hasn't been completed. The, the magnolia trees up front, remember back when we had to dig down deep in the building to seal so it wouldn't leak. The magnolia trees that have been there for years that uh, former Justice McDonald used to tell me about uh, had to be removed. So we planted new ones eight years ago when we did the project. And apparently magnolia trees don't transfer well when, you tra when they're big. So they did not pretty much uh, last. And, and uh, so we just planted new ones, smaller ones, that may take a little longer, but they will grow nicely. So I, I am very proud of the building. And it's always open to the public. And uh, we keep it very nicely. And I welcome all of you to just come by. Uh, and I'll, if I'm there, I'll give you a tour myself. Uh, but it, take a look at it. It is a beautiful building. Uh, it is not an ostentatious building like some other buildings around the country. But it's, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but, it's pretty, but it's a really nice building. <laughs> so with that, I, I, am, I am going to follow Justice Kennedy's advice and get off the stage before Hank comes out with a hook. And thank you so much for having me. I'll be back next year to tell you about the columns, whether or not the paint. <laughs>